So Article 20 of the Apology to the Augsburg Confession is, is one that I, I admit it, I think admittedly the Lutheran Church kind of struggles with on some level, and that is on good works. Um, because our, the, one of the greatest concerns with Lutheran theology is avoiding works righteousness. And by that I mean we, we want to do everything we can to make sure no one gets confused into thinking you have to earn your way into heaven. Because you don't. That is a gift given freely um, by God, by what Jesus Christ has done, by the work of the Holy Spirit. Um, and part of the resistance to that is, is the desire to, um, to motivate good works. And I actually, I had a friend who, who said something to this effect. Um, I haven't asked permission to use this story, so I'm not going to use any specifics. But I, I knew a friend, hadn't really interacted with the Bible much. And I, I asked this friend, I said, can you read the book of Mark for me? Um, I just said, the book of the book of Mark, in, in case you aren't aware, is the shortest gospel. And I just said, can you read it and, and let me know what you think as someone who's not, like, I, I've been a Christian longer than I can remember anything, so I'm not in a great position to say, well, how does this sound to someone who's outside the church? Um, so I, I just wanted to know. And and the number one comment that that they came to me with was, you don't have to do anything. Right, the concern is that there's no motivation to do good things. If there, if you're forgiven no matter what, and it's a free gift, then then what's what's the encouragement to not be a terrible person? Um, and I think part of that is we're caught up in in this idea that that we need a reason, like that we need we need either a we need a carrot or a stick. We need either a reward or a punishment. And and what grace does is it removes that, right? The, the reward is, is, is ours through faith, right? You don't get bonus points in heaven for being a great person. And, and the, the stick is taken away too, right? Because of the grace we have in Christ, if you're in faith, no matter how bad a person you are, you're not going to hell. Because there's forgiveness, because there's grace. And we say, well, why, do you, why are you a good person? And, and where I really come down on it is... If you, if you have faith, I, I shouldn't say it, you have faith. You have faith in a God who loves you so much that he went to the cross, he died, he rose again for you. To me, that communicates that you also have faith that he wants what's best for you. He wants what's best for his creation. And if we trust him at that, we're going to do our best to do what he says. So, so I, I think it's, it's good for us to talk about good works. To, to, to quote the scriptures, it's, it's good for us to stir one another up to good works, to talk about how we can do that kind of stuff. Um, and it's not connected with our salvation. And it's really important that we keep that line clear. But I think there's, there's a danger on overemphasizing either side, right? Because, you know, we are called to do good works, to be good people, right? We're, we're called to that. Um, our salvation doesn't depend on it, but we're, we're called to do it. Um, it it's like, uh, I don't know, a really quick example. Don't press this analogy too far because I haven't thought it through too far. It's like a parent who loves their kids, right? And they tell their, their kid, go clean your room. Right, they they want the room clean to have an orderly house so that the kid doesn't start growing fungus in their room by accident or something and, and it gets them sick. Um, it's to teach their kid li like it's good for the kid, it's good for the house. But if the kid doesn't clean their room, the parent doesn't stop loving the kid, and it's kind of the same thing. Like God loves you and forgives you no matter what, but like when He tells you to clean your room, it's it's for the it's for the betterment of creation. It's for your betterment. Um, so. I, I kind of would want to flip the question on its head. It's not why do we get, do good works; it's why wouldn't we? Um, so, I hope that was coherent and helpful. Anyway, if you have questions, if you have comments, if you need clarifications, please uh, drop something in the comments below for me, um, or just say hi. That's okay too.
kind of weird, but fine. Uh, and with that, brothers and sisters, go in peace. Serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.